Kentucky History Treasures is back in the Conservation Lab here in Frankfurt at the Kentucky Historical Society. Trevor Jones joins us once again. We're talking about items that have a, an interesting, maybe even a creepy backstory mm -hmm. here for October. And uh, Trevor, once again, you guys have delivered. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a cornet, and it's from the Civil War. And you can see here that it's got a dedication to Joseph Dudley. Mm. He was in the 16th Kentucky Infantry. He played in the band. He was an officer as well. Okay. The band was very important in the Civil War, not right. only for morale, but they, they played funerals and also commands in battle, all, ki all kinds of things. Mm. Uh, so poor Joseph Dudley, though, in 1864, he's down in, in Georgia, um, and he's down with the Union Army in Georgia, and he's minding his own business, and he's just played his cornet, and he's in his tent, and a huge storm comes out of, out of nowhere and blows a tree over oh. in, onto his tent and crushes him, kills him dead. Oh, and boy. the account is, as soon as that tree fell, the storm abated immediately, and the skies cleared, and it moved, and the storm moved off. All wow. right. So Dudley's dead, but his coronet comes back home. Coronet's fine. The coronet's fine. Not a dent Dudley, on it. Not so much. And then the story is, now this is where that was fact. Now this is with a lot of creepy things, you don't know what's fact and what's fiction. Right. So the story is that this was, the, the next time this cornet was played was for a uh, reunion, a post-war reunion of the band. Mm. And when the cornet was blown out of nowhere, a huge thunderstorm comes oh, up, disperses no. the crowd and everyone flees. Wow. Uh, so that was, as far as we know, the last time this cornet was ever played. Right. And so the question would be that if you played this again, would this cornet be cursed yeah. is the third time right. you know, would it turn out to be that way and so far we do not have the courage no to, mouthpiece to do that there's anywhere no, near fortunately this. there's no mouthpiece so i'm not going to tempt you wow. with the chance to play the cursed cornet today. and and the historic value here is tremendous too this is the closest thing they would have to a, what we know as a trumpet as a trumpet right and uh just incredible but yeah got to respect the curse <laughs> uh, whether Always. you believe it or not <laughs> it, it's it's there so uh we, we appreciate you taking uh, the time to show us this, and folks can actually examine this artifact online as well. Right, we have lots of artifacts online, including a number of historic instruments from the, this time period uh, at history.ky.gov slash objects. That's our objects database. You can search online and you can find you know, artifacts that we have all the way from Kentucky's early history up to the present. So if there's something you're interested in, you can come and search for it. Very Cursed good. Cursed or not. There you go. <laughs> Trevor, we appreciate it. Kentucky History Treasures. We'll see you next week.